Guys, one of the coolest pieces of information came across my desk. New Year's Eve, literally 2020 just wouldn't hold up with the surprises. Um, when I found out that the Siberian Times announced that in the super remote part of Russia, they found a fully intact woolly rhinoceros that had stayed frozen in the permafrost for thousands of years. And this animal was still intact. It had fat, it had tissue, it had organs. Um, like, That's look crazy. at it. That looks like something that, you know, that, that died like three, four days ago. Like, I mean, it yeah. looks, you know, like I, I, I've pulled things out of my freezer that look worse than that um, and eaten <laughs> them. So, you know, this is just amazing to find this, this full, wow. you know, this full woolly rhinoceros specimen with all yeah. its organs, its fat, its tissue. I mean, this is wow. clone material. 20, it's just 20,000 years old, right? Yep. I think it's around 20,000 years Between old. Between 20 and 50,000 years old. It's stuck preserved like that in the permafrost. This is so, this is uh, how Jurassic Park Nine starts. Mate. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So does a woolly rhino not have a horn? Uh, they do the small horn. Um, they're kind of okay. like a Javan rhinoceros, which is just they've got this kind of very odd facial appendage, um, less of just okay. like a giant horn. Um, but what's interesting More like is a giant penis. Sorry. The the person that found it, I can't remember her name, crazy Russian name. Um, she she was saying that you know, based on her analysis of it, the animal probably died, you know, it was like three or four years old. It was a juvenile and it probably died by drowning. So, you know, it, in my mind, what happened was here's this young woolly rhino out on its own, runs into this super cold lake in Siberian Russia, drowns to death, you know, gets stuck in the mud, whatever, drifts down, mm -hmm. you know, there's no oxygen, uh, there's no light, you know, what, whatever this, this anoxic environment is, gets preserved perfectly, you know, that winter hits a month later, gets solidified in ice and stays completely perfectly frozen in ice for 20 to 50,000 years before someone comes Jeez. and stubs their toe on it, right? And now it's perfectly... <laughs> like, I've got abalone in my freezer from when, before the abalone closure, this is a whole nother story, um, happened in California, that I've frozen inside of blocks of water so to keep the air off of them. Four mm. years later, I pull them out, defrost them, and eat them, and they taste exactly as good as the day I caught them. In fact, I'd say they taste better. They're more tender. And it's like, they're, per they're perfect. Wow. Like when they're frozen in water yeah. like that in ice, you, things just don't deteriorate. It's absolutely incredible. You don't think so they'll this... eat this woolly mammoth, do you? No, they're not going to eat the woolly rhino. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is how Encino Man, a fucking great movie starring Pauly Shore and Brendan Fraser starts, right? Oh, yeah. He's, yep. he's preserved oh, yeah, that's under right. the, he's digging preserved in the swimming the pool. Yeah, that's right. Yep, <laughs> yeah, that's in right. Uh, in Encino. All right, right so that brings me to now. a question. Let's sure. say you're out hiking. Uh, you're up at the top of the Sierra Mountains in California. You stub your toe. It hurts bad. You, you're you <laughs> too scared to even look at your toe because you think the nail might have come off. It really hurts. <laughs> and then you look, and some extinct creature is perfectly preserved, and that's what you stubbed your toe on. What <laughs> What do you want to discover frozen in the permafrost Ooh, if it's that's you? That's fun. In the Sierra. I'll let Retep go first on this one. Okay. That's Me? smart. He doesn't know yeah. what anything um, is. Me? Yeah. I, want to just, I want it to be a cassowary. Are they alive <laughs> a currently not extinct. extinct I'd find animal. a dodo bird <laughs> once again because it's, it's the only extinct thing that I know off the top of my dome. <laughs> I'm the layman, folks. So, You're the scientists and TV show creators. That's, a, that's incredible that a, a dodo bird made it from the the balmy jungles of Mauritius to uh, the top of a 9,000 foot mountain in California. It, it really that's is. Awesome. Like, it's fine, very impressive. <laughs> Without exactly. the power of flight, too. So it would be one of the most ways. interesting finds <laughs> of the times. Forrest, what okay. about you? Um, I'm going to go short faced bear. So there were these incredible, Ooh, massive bears that used to used to roam uh, North America when we had tons of, of megafauna um, up until really recently. I mean, you know, you're talking about like, I don't know, 20,000 years ago, 30,000 years ago, something like that. Um, and the short-faced bear, I don't know, Will, if you can find a picture of one, was this incredible giant bear with this kind of stubby, snouted face. And I just think... I don't know, you'd like stub your toe, you'd look at it, you'd be like, wow, it's a dead bear. And then you'd be like, wait a minute, it's a dead bear that's 17 feet tall that has this fucking prehistoric <laughs> denture set that like, I don't know, I think it'd be so dope. Like the one thing about finding that is you're not carrying it out of there, right? Yeah. Like you find a dodo bird, you're like, all right, I'm gonna chip it out of the ice, throw it in my backpack and this is <laughs> yeah. dope. Like it's gonna, you know, it's gonna look <laughs> exactly. really good 
on my right, mantle right. when it's when it's thawed out. <laughs> you find a short faced bear, you're like, huh, this is a problem. Seventeen <laughs> feet tall. What do yeah. you? What about you, Patrick? I'm, I'm gonna see. I was thinking about going saber toothed cat, but I feel yeah. like that's too obvious. It's a I'm bit of a cop out. Yeah, I want to find uh, one of the Clovis people. The That's Clovis what I'm looking people? for. What's Clovis, Clovis people? people? What's, what's it's, that? It's the people who crossed the, the Bering Strait and colonized oh, yes, yes, yeah, 12,000 yeah, yeah. years ago. Sure. Mm-hmm. So I, I want to find a human uh, just on the off <laughs> chance that they don't look like what we thought they did or that we get into an Encino Man type of situation where <laughs> right. they, they are still alive of course. once they warm up. Uh, yeah. I think finding an ancient human – I mean, look. How cool would it be if you found a giant? I mean, yeah. that's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Would be, uh, I, would be, I, I feel like I, we I have would, to do a whole... I envision, like, sorry, I'm still thinking about your hypothetical, Patrick, because now I have this vision in my head of, like, you sitting there with a hair dryer, just like, <laughs> like, trying to defrost yeah. this guy, and you're like, hey, man, <laughs> wake up, wake up. <laughs> wake up. And it's no, just I a think... corpse. <laughs> All right, I, no, okay, I can't, I can't do this, but I'm technically changing mine to a giant. I want to okay. find a twenty <laughs> foot tall man wearing. I like it. Wearing a short face bear pelt around wow. his shoulders. Wow. Uh, so at right? first you're like, "Wow, short face bear." There's a picture of one for you. Oh wow! Um, and then you're like, Look "Wait a minute, thing. this guy is wearing a short face bear." <laughs> yeah, I want to find a man that size, the size of the short face bear. <laughs> oh, twenty feet great. tall man. That's oh, great. Man. That is a well, so- large bear. Yep. So are you pretty stoked about this woolly rhino thing? I mean, do you think that they'll try and extract DNA and clone it or do something like that? Well, it's undeniable that the the DNA from it will be salvageable, right? Because it has right. fat, it has organs, it has tissue. Um, mm-hmm. And when you get to that stage, you know, here's the thing. Like, we, we lost a new species. Well, not a new. We lost a, a northern white rhino species like three years ago. We haven't brought them back, right? And they have super close living relatives. So it's not mm-hmm. like bringing woolly rhinos back using their DNA is going to happen, you know, in 2022, where we're going to be like, let's get these things back, you know, like we're, we're a ways right. out from that. That being said, they can definitely DNA bank it, you know, they can, they can keep it. Uh, they're very closely related to rhinos that exist today. So they could easily inject it into an embryo. And in 10, 20, 30, 40 years, when we are doing that, and they are creating real Jurassic Park, because we wipe the fuck out of everything. <laughs> a couple woolly rhinos ro- roaming around. Yeah, I'm all for it. I'll pay Joe they're Exotic good. to go check out his woolly rhino. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. They're going to learn a lot, though, regardless. I mean, this is definitely – they're going to learn more about it than they've ever known factually now, though, because For they've sure. never had anything like this with this it's animal It's not a before. pile of bones. You know, it's yeah. got hair. It's got teeth. It's got eyes. Like, it's, it's got organs. You know, it's, you're gonna, they're going to know what it was eating. You know, they're going to be able mm-hmm. to look at its, what stomach contents. I mean, incredible stuff. Um, yeah. And, yeah, I think – you know, I don't think there's going to be anything, like – revolutionary that comes out of it like i don't think they're gonna pull it open and be like turns out woolly rhinos used to eat saber-toothed tigers that's wild you know i don't think that's <laughs> yeah. gonna happen um but i just think it's really fascinating and it's exciting you know it's also not exciting it's also shitty right it means like our ice is melting ice that's been there for fifty thousand years yeah. uh you know that that humans shouldn't be seeing um is melting and you know there's obvious reasons behind that so uh mm-hmm. it's just you know, I think it's a really, really cool discovery, and I'd love to find something like that one day. Yeah, 